Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I'm in my entryway because today I'm gonna to show you how I've organized a camp kitchen in a DeWalt rolling toolbox. Hit the subscribe button and follow me as I give you weekly tips and tools to get your preps and travel organized. When I'm not traveling, I'm prepping. Today I'm gonna to show you an organized travel camp kitchen. All right, so let's go down here from my entryway into the little hallway area. I've put the DeWalt rolling toolbox that I got from Home Depot here in this area so that I have the space to film it. And I got it from Home Depot because it was cheaper uh, to ship it here to my house than it was on Amazon. So check out Home Depot first. I'll put a link down in the description box for both Home Depot and Amazon. So I got this idea about three years ago and I finally did it uh, from this channel called The Prepared Wanderer and I'll link his video. It's totally not my idea. I totally got it from him. And then I also saw another video from The Rugged Life and he has a great um, organization for how he's used this. So I'll put that link also. Okay, so what you see here is on the outside, I just used a command strip and put this patch that says do more than just exist. It's basically for camping and hiking. And I've put the patch there to designate it as the camping one because I have one exactly like this for my tools. This is what it looks like from this side. And now on this side, this is the back and this is the top. All right, so in order to open it, uh, you press this push and lift up the handle at the same time. Press the push button, lift up the handle, okay? Then you have to press the push button or the handle won't move. See, it locks it. And then I can press the footing back here. I don't know if you can see that and tilt it up and then it can be moved. And the nice thing we went camping with this, it definitely fits inside the back of our SUV. Okay, so now to open up the whole thing, you have to lift up this metal handle here, keep it open or keep it up. And then you put your foot here in this spot and then push it along. Okay, my foot is there, I'm holding the metal up and that's what I mean by push it along and then it opens like that. Now for this top part to open, you just have to lift up the metal clasps just like a regular toolbox. Okay, and then it opens up this way. From above, it looks like this. And then when it's fully open, it looks like this. The great thing with this top part here, you could put different things to lay on top, whether it's your utensils or cooking utensils or plates or cups. You can use it as like a little table or if you have little things, you could put them in here and it's a great uh, extra counter space. Okay, let's start with the bottom compartment. So at first I wasn't gonna label anything. I was just gonna label like maybe bags like this in the stove, but not inside the toolbox itself but my husband said to go ahead and label it so that it would help him. And actually it was a great idea because it helped me or it helps me. So here is my utensils kit and I have a separate video for this. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll put it in the I cards above, but I'll open it up just to show you that all the utensils I need for cooking when we camp are all in here. Now we have been camping for a long time and we usually do tent camping and so and when my kids were smaller we used to go with different families and eating was like a big thing in camp we didn't do like just open a can of chili or hot dogs I mean we did a whole spread and that's just how we did it okay so here I have a double sink and <clears throat> the reason I have this is because sometimes when you just have a lot of plates to uh, wash there's it's nice to have clean water here and then you wash the dishes here then you clean it with the clean water and it's foldable and it's good enough as far as um, space saving so this is my double sink and I've had this for over a decade 
and it works really well. I think I got it from Walmart. It has handles here and a handle in the middle. You could just use one side or you could use both. I usually have clean water here and then this is where I wash the dishes and then use that as a clean water. And then it's really easy to carry and it folds and it helps save space when you fold it up like that, okay? And then in here I have, this is new actually, I finally changed out all my pans. I used to have camping pans and they didn't last very long. Then I just started using my uh, smaller pots and pans from home and I would bring them and I just wanted to find a thing to save space. So this is the brand Jet Boil and I got it because it is Jet Boil and it has good reviews. Got everything I, in this camp kitchen I'm gonna list in the description box below. Most of it is from, most of them are from Amazon, I believe. And you know, Jet Boil is a good brand. So. It's all I need, uh, especially for, we love breakfast, so bacon, eggs, uh, pancakes, all of them in here. It is washing. Uh, I mean, I do have to do washing in between, but um, I'd rather save the space and have a good pan. And I am probably going to save up to get a jet foil uh, pot, uh, but for now, this is what we have. And then as you saw inside there, this sink, this double sink, fits partially inside that uh, the jet boil pan. That's why it could fit in there. Okay, so now I have a collapsible sink. And this is specifically to have when I wash the dishes and I need to dry them. And so, just like any collapsible uh, items, they just, you just pull it up like that. Okay, and then this is a kind of separator for utensils and... Um, Maybe you have straws or something like that. And then here is the um, drain thing you can open and close. And see how nice it collapses down to that. Okay. This is my one burner stove, which I used to have a two burner stove. I used to have a three burner, large camp stove, then a two burner. And then I finally decided I'm just gonna have a one burner. I've used this for a few times camping now. and. I'm totally okay with a one burner. This is the one you um, can get anywhere at the big box stores or Amazon. So it's basically like that. It's, I didn't clean it since I had gone camping, so I need to do that. <clears throat> okay, everything down here kind of fell off, but you saw how it was all stacked kind of nicely. So here I have paper towels. And this is uh, something that someone had invented, which a long time ago when I was camping, I'm like, someone needs to invent something like this. Okay, so it's basically a paper towel holder, but you could use anything on it. And it just turns and turns, and you could tie it around a tree, around a pole, around the table, anything that has something that you can clasp it like this, like a, like a bungee. And it's perfect, because then once you put it back together, or once you need to put it, sew it away, you just keep it like that and it stays tidy. And it keeps the um, paper towel roll from, um, you know, unraveling. Okay, then I just have some aluminum foil here. And then in this Ziploc, this I saw with people uh, doing van life. And I thought, oh, what a perfect idea. It's basically, it makes your, um, uh, water become like a faucet. So I have a three gallon um, container that I fill up before we go. And then I use this, and it, it pumps the water from here and it comes out of this spout here. And then I just put it back in the Ziploc, not just to keep it tidy, but you know, so that's not all exposed to the dirt. Okay, and then I have the propane can. So I usually have one inside the stove and then I carry two extras. So I found that even like um, five days, maybe even a week, three cans suffice. <clears throat> then I have these holders here, two of them, and they can attach anywhere like that. Okay, wherever you are, whatever you have in your campsite. 
and it just adds an extra place for you. Like you could put utensils, you could put napkins, you could put cups, uh, whatever you need. It's just an extra place to keep the whole area functioning. So in these, I have um, a, a microfiber, microfiber towel, I think. Well, it's one of those towels where it, you know, really can wipe you dry, but it, it doesn't retain the water. And so it's in this nice little, um, uh, what's that called, little uh, bag. And I also have ones for when we travel like uh, domestic flights or international flights. And then I've had this little container forever. So once you just get one of these um, <clears throat> and just refill it, then I have a little sponge. I mean, you could get a regular size sponge, but I just happen to have a hemp sponge. And then this is a cooling towel. And so I have one for each of our sacks uh, or our, the bags that we bring for camping. I also bring this for travel, but I have one here. Um, just in case someone uh, who's like cooking or maybe helping me cook and they want to cool down, I have something for them or for myself. Okay, and the other cooling towel that I have in my bag, I might use that like when we go hiking or, you know, something where I would need a cooling towel and I just keep this with the camp kitchen. So that's why I have a separate one. And so what I've done here is inside these containers, you could see that I've put the label. So I know what goes in there, cooling towel, microfiber towel, sponge, dishwashing liquid. Okay. All right, and then down here I have a fruit hammock, uh, just to put the fresh fruit while at camp. And I have this thermos, this retro thermos that uh, was for my mom, I asked for it. And this is where when you make coffee, you just keep it here, make it uh, stay warmer a little bit for a little bit longer. Then I have a lighter. All right, so these are the labels I'm talking about. Like inside the, con the toolbox itself, I went ahead and put labels so I know where everything goes. There's a drying rack, the camping pan, sink, foil, paper towels, propane, lighter, uh, fruit macrame, and thermos. Okay, now on to the second tier. And so this part, it comes with these dividers. So you could take them out and make it longer that way. And there is one that I took out, but the rest I kept in. So this part I took out and then I just keep it over here in case I change up the organization. So let's start here on the left. Here I have this little container I think I got from the um, grocery store. So inside I have um, a little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. So, I mean, I have hand sanitizers everywhere when I go camping. So I have two little ones like that. This is the cover for the three gallon bottle. I have hooks here if I need them. And then this is, um, what's that called? This is the, a little uh, plug. And I like containers that do this snap. So you're, you're sure that it's closed. Okay, here, this is where I have uh, matches. And um, I also have S-hooks in here. Okay, so we've got some uh, waterproof matches there. Okay, this kind. And then S-hooks. So the same thing like that cup holder, you can use these S-hooks anywhere in camp. Uh, let's say you wanna hang the cooling towel or the microfiber towel. Okay, so this could be used as the cleaning towel for the camp kitchen area and then I can hook it on like that. Now it's a little bit longer so I usually can put it through the loop like this so keep it off the ground. So I just put a few S hooks just to again add function to your camping area. Then I have labels down there, S hooks, matches, hand sanitizer, and water cap. And luckily these containers fit perfectly into this spot. Over here, I have duct tape, and I have a little clock here in case, um, for whatever reason, our, um, our phones are not working. And then I have a little light that can just hang when we're cooking at night. So here, duct tape, clock, light. OK, 
okay and then i know how to put i know to put the clock the light there the clock and the duct tape over here i have an arrow press now this is highly recommended by people who camp a lot or they have camping uh, channels and there's a label arrow press over here i have my cups collapsible cups now it was important to me that i kept my camp kitchen to serve four people so that's my whole family and although uh, my kids probably won't be camping with us they didn't camp with us last time because my son has moved and my daughter had work but um, just in case i just keep it to four and the reason uh, since i wanted four i had to make sure that things fit so using collapsible stuff uh, was the key so here, if these were not collapsible, you know, it would take up so much more space. And uh, this is a great brand. It's C to Summit. I believe that's the name on Amazon. So these are the larger cups. And then these are the smaller ones. And they have all kinds of stuff. So you may want to use this for, let's say, coffee. Or if you want a, a soup or chili. Um, they have different purposes. And so I also made them color coordinated. So I have um, this gray color for the regular size and the small cup. And then this is a dark gray, so light gray, dark gray. And then this kind of um, rust color, I'd say. And then this lime color. And they're so easy to put the collapse back down. You could even just use one hand. Okay, all right, so I put the large ones first in the back and then in the same color order. So the rust, light gray, dark gray, green, and then the rust, light gray, dark gray, green. Here I just have some ground coffee. And the reason I already have ground because I haven't purchased something to grind coffee, but so I thought this is this will do for now. And the same container, I have sugar in here. Oh, that should go with the arrow press. Okay, I put that in correctly. So here I just have like uh, we prefer brown sugar. Okay, and then I just have some white sugar packets. And I usually you can get these on Amazon, but I usually get them from. Um, Walmart, even the coffee mate that you don't need refrigerated, I get those from Walmart. And then these are, this is lemon powder. So you can use that if you're making tea. Um, we usually drink coffee when we go camping, uh, but once in a while we'll have tea. And so what I do is I just, uh, just throw some tea bags in here and we're good to go. And so here it says coffee, sugar, and creamer. Right, and so you can see there's space here if I wanted to put some tea bags. All right, I put it back inside the AeroPress. Okay, on this side, these are the collapsible lanterns. Okay, and I had other lanterns and I let go of those and I got these because um, they're solar and they're collapsible, again, to save space. I gotta use two hands for this, hold on. All right, it opens up to that size, okay, and it may not turn on because, oh, there, it did. Okay, so one, brighter, off. Oh, blinking, so off, one, brighter, strobe, off. And you could just push it down, collapse this, and then it clicks back into place. So if you don't want to use the lantern part, you just want to use this part kind of like a flashlight it's the same thing. On, brighter, strobe, off. Okay, look how nicely it all fits. Oops, I forgot to put these in. Let me put those in now. All right, on this side where I took out the divider, I have our windscreen here. Now, it was very windy when we went camping last. And uh, what I found with this, and it's up to you if you like it, it's not the easiest thing to open, okay? But the windscreen works, and then it was just so windy that I had to put something behind the windscreen to keep it in place. So with the type of stove that I have, it doesn't really attach to it, but if you had, uh, or I, I didn't figure it out. 
All right, the windscreen looks like this. It's by Camping Moon. So you can have it all, you know, all the way open or partly. And it has these clips here that I think could clip onto something, but I think with my particular stove, it doesn't click on. If somebody knows, let me know in the comments below how this is supposed to work to attach to my stove, uh, but maybe it doesn't. Um, I do like that the windscreen is copper and that it comes with a case. Okay, here I have some one gallon Ziploc bags. I think I got from the dollar store and uh, this chip clip. So it holds the Ziploc together. You could use a rubber band or a hair tie, but then it has a chip clip. So if we are having chips, we need to close it. I have it here. So two for one uh, purpose. Same here, I have um, more Ziploc bags. I think these are the uh, sandwich size and then a binder clip again to use for whatever purpose. And then I have here a rubber band and kitchen trash bags, the 13 gallon size. And then here I have a glow stick. Okay, so on, let me see, there. Off, then the flashlight, strobe on, off. Okay, and I got these, a bunch of them from Costco. They came in a, you know, a bundle, oops. Uh, and I put some in my blackout box. I'll put a link to that. And then we have here uh, Clorox wipes to go. And here are the labels, glow stick, Ziploc, windscreen, trash bags, disinfecting wipes. And, and I put them to try, I put the labels where the things should go as much as possible. Okay, so you should have that, trash bags. Um, let's put the glow stick first. Usually I wrap the glow stick. Let me do that. Okay, I wrap the glow stick, put it there underneath the, oops, the trash bags. I got that. And the Ziploc. And all right, I need two hands for this. And you can see that I labeled the windscreen um, because it, it kind of blends a little bit with the yellow, at least for me. Uh, and then I also put the labels so that when you're looking on top, that is what you see. I did that as much as I could. And then I put this divider back here in case I ever changed the organization and I need the divider. All right, for the top section here, I have this tablecloth. I finally, um, I'd say upgraded my tablecloth. So this is um, kind of cute one with uh, tree leaves and uh, like a tent. Okay, I'll put a video up here to show you our camp setup so you could see how this works. So this is a tablecloth that you just fold, right? And has the, you know, it's like the, protects it from wet stuff and then the kind of cloth underneath. And then these are straps, uh, two of them. They come in a pair and I absolutely love these because I used to use those table clips they totally don't work. Um, everything's f flying, they come off. Sometimes the table edge is too thick at the picnic table. And those clips are only like that, right? The ones that you get like at Party City or something. Party City or something. So these are just straps. And I'm sure you could use bungee cords or something. Um, but I'll insert a picture here to show you that once you lay out the tablecloth, you take these bungees on, on both ends of the table and you wrap, it, you wrap it underneath the table and you clip it on. Make sure the clip is underneath though so that this is not in the way with the stuff that you put on the table. And it worked absolutely great and uh, I definitely recommend it. Also, the, they expand. So I expanded it as far as it could and it still fit, so it was, it was great. All right, so underneath here, we have a can opener. This is just from the Dollar Tree. I just actually added that, so I don't have a label yet. I'm, I'll need to put a label. And then here I have a bungee cord that holds all our plates and our serving plates and utensils and napkins. So when you're um, organizing for your camp kitchen, bring stuff like a bungee cord, an S hook, a rubber band, paper clip, binder clip, uh, Ziploc bags that they can be double use, right? So here I just have my utensils. So this is our rice ladle and then a large fork and spoon. 
Okay, we're, we're Filipinos, so we always eat rice, even when we go camping. And look at this, this is like a, a cat or a squirrel or something. And I got these because when you put it on this end, the ladle doesn't hit the surface. So it keeps it above, so it doesn't touch that. So uh, these, come, these came in a pack of three, so one was for camping, and then the other two I have in my kitchen. For utensils, I got these four. I think I got them from Walmart a long time ago. So it has a spoon, fork, and a serrated knife edge there. And then I had gotten these for when we take road trips and I like them so much that I got some for camping. Now we're Filipino and so when we eat Filipino food, we actually use a spoon and a fork. So if there are four of us, it's hard to use this because then we don't have a spoon and fork at the same time. But if you have a pair of these, you could use one side for the spoon, the other side for the fork. And I like how they attach together here uh, to keep it tidy. So if there were four of us camping, obviously only two of us can use these or uh, all four of us could use one each. So there's uh, some versatility there. Okay, so when the strap is detached, it looks like this. And the fork does have a little serrated edge there. Then I have napkins in a Ziploc bag. So I usually fill this up to how many I think we'll need for the weekend or the week or the five days. And then these are our plates and our serving plates. So these are a little bit uh, deeper, okay? And then these are for our plates. Example, um, if I cook fried rice, I put it here or, um, you know, like eggs or bacon. And so these come in four. And again, I put them in the same uh, uh, order, okay, as the plates. Now, my only problem here is that this one kind of has a crack in it. And I, I've literally had this for like 15 years if you've used these on all camping trips. So unless I find another one like that, I know I got it from Walmart. Uh, I'm not ready to exchange it, especially because it fits perfectly into this space. But I'm sure after I do a little research, I can find something like that. But that's how it looks like and see how it's all stacked together. It, um, it really keeps it uh, tidy. All right, over here I have my collapsible kettle. And you can see I put a label there. This is actually new. I used to bring another, uh, I used to just use a pot. And this is a Sea to Summit. Now you have to be careful that the fire underneath it isn't bigger than the metal part here or it's going to melt uh, the plastic part, okay? I need two hands for this, hold on. Oh, and let me see if I could do it with one hand. Okay, so the, the handles collapse like that. This is the cover. Okay, some people complain that this part fell off, so be careful with that. Okay, so you just lift this up. Okay. And pull it up. And it was totally enough space, uh, enough um, capacity for water, if you want to make ramen or some hot tea. Okay. And you put the cover on. And you put it on your stove. It's really nice. And it cleans easily. So once to collapse it, you keep the cover on and just push it down like that. All right. And then it comes with this band just to keep the um, the lid on top. Okay. Even has X kettle on the band. And I like to put it on that um, piece there to keep it down. And then it just has a warning there. Okay. Over here I have the bowls, collapsible bowls. Same. Uh, see. See to summit, same colors as the um, the cups and the smaller bowls or larger cups, whatever you want to call them. So these bowls, again, they can be used just like as a bowl, a serving bowl. It could be used for soup. It could be even used as a plate. And so that's what it looks like when it's open. Again, I have the light gray, or I have the rust, the light gray, the dark gray and the green. And they fit so perfectly in this spot here. It's almost like, look, it's like the size of this part of the toolbox. I just, I love when stuff like that happens. And then this is an egg holder I got from Walmart, again, probably over 15 years ago when we had a whole bunch of camping stuff. And you can put 
uh, fresh eggs here or even hard boiled eggs. So if you do fresh eggs um, and you're only driving for a couple hours or something, it, I think it's fine. I've, I've done that many times. Some of you may not like that. Or if you put hard boiled eggs, you could put them in here or even mix them. But with the hard boiled eggs, take a permanent marker and put like a happy face or the letter H for hard boiled eggs so you can designate which ones are hard, hard boiled. Okay, and they're pretty good. Uh, I mean, this is pretty good for uh, making sure the eggs don't break. Uh, and then over here, I have my condiments bag. All right, I have a separate video for this bag. I'll link it up above. Okay, looks like that. And then I have the um, label there, condiments. I have the label here, eggs holder. Okay. Let me just open this up and show you. Okay, this is what it looks like opened up and it's a regular um, toiletries bag. And that's the whole reason I got it. It was so you could either lay flat like that or I can use the hook and whether hook it onto a tree, I could even hook it onto uh, this spot here. It will touch the floor a little bit there. But these are the main condiments I use for camping. Um, you know, like there's syrup in there since we usually have something like pancakes or French toast when we're camping. And I liked, I put them in a bag so that I'm not grabbing it from my kitchen. It's all ready to go when we want to go camping. So I'll put this back and show you just, I just love how perfectly everything fits in here. And I used to have just like bins that I was um, using for my camp kitchen. Okay, here you can see plates, napkins. And so with those bins, they would stack up in uh, the back of our SUV or minivan, whatever car we had back then. And so I finally decided to do this after three years of seeing that video. Um, and I just absolutely love it. The other thing is that, like what I had said earlier, this can be an another um, countertop. Like, like I said, you could put your, you could put your plates there. If I have, um, right, if I have my cup, I could put it here and I could put the utensils there or the cooking utensils. I can lay out the cooking utensils here. So I just love that feature of this and that you could use it that way. So when you're preparing your camp kitchen, make sure you know how many people you're preparing it for, the exact things that you will need. And then sometimes by trial and error, you'll realize, you know what, I don't need this two burner stove or I, I need this extra utensil or something like that. And then you, you know, you just keep tweaking and tweaking until it becomes something that is really working for you and the people that you camp with. The other great thing about this is that um, this was basically everything that I needed for um, cooking. Again, if I, if, sorry about that, if that was too loud. Okay, so if I get a pot, then that would have to be in a separate bin. But the only other bin we had was the bin for our tent and our tarp. And then we have, of course, our sleeping bags and our sleeping cushions. Um, we might try car camping, so I might have to get new stuff for that. But in the meantime, this is totally the camp kitchen that uh, is, was, is just perfect for us. Hope this helps you. And then when you go day hiking, and have to step away from your camp. I remember uh, we had camped at the Grand Canyon and these large black crows or ravens or whatever they are, they totally uh, jabbed into our all our stuff. We put them away in like cartons and even the bins and they were, uh, um, they poked into the cartons. So this they cannot poke into. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below how you've organized your camp kitchen or if you even go camping and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.